Our warning to Audible over rumors of a Sussex podcast return and Jada Pinkett Smith kind of shocks no one with her separation announcement. These are my LA Diaries. Lots of Harry and Meghan news to get through, so let's jump right in. The long wait is over. Harry and Meghan finally have new titles. I saw your comments. I heard your cries. The monarchy angels have answered our prayers. Harry and Meghan are now officially dot, 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 others. <laughs> the Daily Mail is reporting that King Charles has radically reset his late mother's concept of the family firm, now categorizing them as senior royals, working royals, non-working royals, and, well, others. The others are apparently Prince Andrew, Harry, and Meghan, with Andrew prioritized over the Sussexes. I mean, Look, it's not exactly what we were looking for, but it's certainly a blow to the old ego. By now, you've heard all about Harry and Meghan's trip to NYC. Or maybe you haven't, because according to The Express, no one cares. The headline reads, Meghan Markle and Prince Harry get frosty reception in NYC as locals don't care. The Express's eyes on the ground reported that H&M drew no crowds as they returned to New York City to speak at an event for World Mental Health Day. And when asked about their thoughts on Harry and Meghan being in New York, many locals said that they simply weren't interested. This is in stark contrast to the hundreds of people who lined up to see Prince William outside of an NYC fire station. Despite the lack of interest, the Daily Mail pointed out that eco-warrior Prince Harry and Meghan Markle took a gas-guzzling seven-car convoy around a single block in NYC. I mean, obviously, this was to avoid a similar incident like last visit's now infamous near-catastrophic car chase that happened in May. The Daily Mail notes that the Sussexes had a marked NYPD escort accompanying their SUV fleet. They also described the Sussexes as unfazed and all smiles. Not everyone would agree, though. Body language expert Judy James tells The Mirror that Harry and Meghan's public appearances are escalating in awkward. After being shown a video of a man going to shake Prince Harry's hand and Meghan intercepting the handshake with a hug, Judy said, it's always trickier than it looks for royals, getting the choreography right in public, and it takes a lot of work making visits and appearances look as smooth as the firm do. She goes on to explain that due to H&M's non-royal status, aka others, they come off pretty rusty at public appearances lately. Judy says Harry and Meghan seem more prone to small choreography fails. And it seems from this clip and the one at Kevin Costner's event where Meghan grabs the mic, that it's Meghan who steps up to take the lead, leaving Harry looking awkward. Body language expert Darren Stanton even accuses Prince Harry of feeling frustrated at the event. He told The Express that Meghan is beaming. She's got a big smile on, but he's looking like someone stole his sweets. Darren says that Harry appears to be more confident when he's solo. Do you think Meghan takes the lead in the relationship? Leave a comment below. According to The Express, Meghan is working overtime behind the scenes to salvage her Archetypes podcast and elevate herself with a little Hollywood glamour. The Express claims the Duke and Duchess's business advisors are in talks with Amazon-owned Audible, whose roster of stars includes former president and first lady Barack and Michelle Obama. Do these two ever get tired of shamelessly following the Obamas around like lost puppies? The publication also claims that Meghan has been reaching out personally to A-list icons, including Pretty Woman actress Julia Roberts, in an effort to generate joint projects for a planned relaunch of her website, The Tig. I call garbage on parts of this story, and let me tell you why. First of all, you know, can we just say a prayer for The Tig? Because it's been incubating for far too long. Someone needs to induce, and with all the hype, the time to launch has come and gone. Additionally, where is William Morse Endeavor? Why is Meghan personally calling Julia Roberts? I mean, Meghan has always loved Julia. I totally believe that she's capable of making that phone call, but William Morse Endeavor would give her an element of credibility that she doesn't have on her own. What can Meghan Markle do for Julia Roberts? Absolutely nothing. Thing. And an Audible deal would most definitely not look like their Spotify deal, and that is 100% eating crow. The Sussexes have proven that they lack the popularity, work ethic, and creativity that came with their overblown paycheck. If they sign a deal with Audible, 
Be hesitant to take what anonymous sources say about the payday seriously. The Sussex brand doesn't want you to know that they are valued millions of dollars less than Spotify values them now. And Audible could get away with that because the Sussexes need to prove themselves after the Wall Street Journal and others accuse them of pitching things like interviews with dictators about their childhood and harassing executives for changes at the very last minute. Technically, Megan could have stayed at Spotify and chosen to monetize her podcast on a subscription basis or one of their many other monetization methods. It seems like Carrie and Megan left Spotify because the return on investment was just not there for Spotify and Harry and Megan are not necessarily easy to work with. So good luck to Audible. We don't technically have to warn you because Bill Simmons already did. When Will Smith slapped Chris Rock at the 2022 Oscar Awards, he set his career back decades. People stopped returning his calls. Movies were put on hold. He was considered a not-so-great guy. All over some chivalry. Rock had made a hair joke at Jada Pinkett Smith's expense. Will didn't like it. And then there's the infamous line, keep my wife's name out of your mouth. So imagine our surprise to hear Jada reveal that the pair have been separated for seven years. TMZ reports that Jada made the revelation Wednesday in a couple of different interviews, one with People Magazine and the other with Today. In both, she admits that she and Will have been leading separate lives since 2016, and that even today they continue to live separately. While refusing to acknowledge what officially led to the breakup, Jada bizarrely claims that she has no plans to divorce Will. The actress says she's committed to working through anything. It's clear that she specifically sees their current relationship as a platonic partnership, a partnership they seem to want to maintain. Will and Jada's relationship has been a huge source of speculation around Hollywood for years. In 2021, Will admitted that his marriage was not monogamous, telling GQ, we have given each other trust and freedom with the belief that everybody has to find their own way. And I don't suggest our road for anybody, but the experiences that the freedoms that we've given one another and the unconditional support to me is the highest definition of love. Jada also famously revealed a four-year relationship that she had with one of her son's friends on her Facebook show, Red Table Talk. During that discussion, Jada referred to her relationship as an entanglement. That term instantly became a pop culture sensation. No reaction as of yet from Will. Of course, all the juicy gossip is being regurgitated to promote Jada's new book, Worthy, out on October 17th. Will you be buying Jada's new book? Please let me know in the comments below.